Well, what's up folks, it's Fozzy here. Welcome back to another squad building video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 400,000 coin Bundesliga squad. No hybrids here, just strictly looking at the Bundesliga. I know recently I've had a little bit of my Serie A bias coming out in hybrids and full teams. Uh, I've just sat down trying to think of a, a league that had a good value for money with a decent range of players you could pick from. And I think I landed on a pretty solid Bundesliga team here. There's a reasonable price of 400k, uh, only one SPC player in the team and there is an alternative if you can't get that SBC player as well so if you guys do enjoy it please do with a thumbs up on it be greatly appreciated if you're new around here hit that subscribe button we're trying to make the push to a thousand subscribers get on the youtube partner program and all that good stuff so all the support regarding that is greatly appreciated and without any further ado let's jump into the fourth four hundred thousand coins windows like a squad builder now i've just got foot up beside me here to track the prices uh, i'm going to refresh real-time prices on playstation it's actually four hundred and twelve thousand. xbox is 396 which is what i am on so i'm using that as my reference point and then pc it's four 492,000 but PC is always very different market wise compared to PlayStation and Xbox but the PlayStation and Xbox in this case is coming in pretty damn similar so this is the formation actually we're going to be using to build the team to get the chemistry and I'll talk about possible gate formations to play in game uh, on afterwards so jump into the goalkeeper so we're going to be spending 15,000 coins on the goalkeeper it's going to be for Castiles he's six for six he doesn't have much of a weak foot, but he's 6'6", 86 rated keeper, comes for crosses, doesn't have saves with feet, but he is lanky, um, so he is going to sort of make those odd saves. Um, he's really the best bang for buck, I'd say. If you have, an, say, an untradeable player, maybe you got that headline or trap card from one of the party bags or from a player picker, something like that, or you have Neuer untradeable in your club, you can consider using those, but I'd say, uh, or even Herdeki, if you have his inform as a red pick or something like that, you can consider using them as well. But if you're having to go buy a player on the market, I'd go with Castiles in this case. Now, the first center back is gonna be Telpsoba. He has his, I believe it was the road to the knockout card. Um, it's not upgradable anymore, yep. If you're Europa League, road to the knockout card. Can't get any more upgrades before that question's asked. He's a three-star weak, uh, three-star weak foot, preferred right foot at centre back. Six foot four, medium high work rates. Everything's sweet on paper there. On the market right now, he's twenty-three thousand coins, twenty-four thousand coins in that that range. So I think he's one of the best value for coins centre backs you can get in the game right now. Um, you see, pace is good. Eighty-four pace overall is still good for this stage of the game. His dribbling for a centre back is good. The reactions and composure may be a little bit lower than what you want right now. Uh, but in regards to like the ball control, dribbling, agility, and balance, all that's very good for centre back. The passing with seventy-three vision, ninety short pass, eighty-nine long pass, fantastic for a centre back. So if you're someone who wants to play out at the back, you can do. He can also take penalties for you. And not that you're going to get to that situation, but if you need to, at least he can take pens. Uh, then his defending is like really well rounded on the. East seven uh he does have e2 slide tackle but if you give him a shadow which would be my recommendation gets him 94 pace jacks off the defending uh, and then the slide tackle gets like a plus 15 i believe and then on the physicals he's just well rounded nothing to write home about but he does a power header as well so maybe you can score some headers with him in the box now for the other center back i did have collins here uh, but there's a couple of things that put me off this card but you can use him if you have him the 75 composure for me is a bit of an issue with the center back but he does have great pace and great strength um so if you can get over that composure and lower reactions maybe this card's for you uh but we're going to be going with someone else in this build they do cost 44,000 coins as well so it's not like a huge huge difference in, in that ratio i'm in the club it's in the academy so you can see his composure is still ea so it's only five better than uh, uh not top so but than collins but if you don't know like when ea has this thing that ever, when it ticks over to like the next 10 so the difference between 79 and 80 on a stat it doesn't just feel like a plus one change um so whatever way the user system it actually feels more than the plus one so having that five more plus getting into the ee range will make him feel uh so much better on the ball strength aggression is really well rounded for a center back defending stats again very similar to top soba um you really just want to put a shadow on this guy say so he's forty four thousand coins on the market he doesn't have any traits that are really going to be useful maybe a solid player maybe fights with the badge but big thing here is he's left footed so actually if i pop him into the team what you can do is Put him there at left center back. He's left footed with good passing, you know, um, 70 vision, 96 short pass, 90 long pass is fantastic. Uh, and then obviously taps over with good passing on the right foot. Really nice uh, center back combination you can have. And then there is upgrade ability with better center backs in the league once you get more budget to work with. Now, I'm going to cover the right back slot next. And this is really the only, the only part of this team that I feel needs a different upgrade still. Uh, and it's in Babu. So he has his freeze versions uh or foot you don't freeze his foot versus versions and he has the the fire and the ice uh the ice has more uh passing 
which is this one the fire one's got more defending which is what we're going to go with so um on the market right now he's sixty thousand coins and there's not really another right back in uh this league unless you took frimpong from the f uh, future star swaps so if you have frimpong use him instead please use the ring pong instead he will be better but in this case buying someone off the market Mbappe is really the only option so high medium three star three star it's decent for a fullback um his dribbling is at that stage where at this point in the game you you will start to notice that a little bit in the higher level game his plus sides are obviously the pace the stamina is nice uh, and his defending outside of interceptions is actually pretty damn good if i don't awareness with the slide tackle and uh Stand tackle up there. His dribbling is just a little bit off the pace, and obviously his passing is a bit of a letdown with the 74, 75, and 71 in the key stats. But let's see, Bundesliga don't really have any other options right now unless you've got that from the punk. So you're going to be stuck with this Mbappe card, and hopefully they'll put another right back in the packs, and that will help things out in that regard. So I also on that note, there is also the the Bruce the Lemer uh, or the Lehner SBC. I can't uh, Lehner SBC the right back from. Uh, which I'm glad back. He was uh, an SPC. If you have him too, you can use him instead of Mbappé. Now, flipping over to the left back. This is a player I really like to look, look off. And uh, we can say it's the first. If I spoke his name right, ah, two hours. It's the first foot birthday that's in this team. Is the left back? He is. It's the first foot birthday in this team, and well, there's four more after this. So this is a very foot birthday themed team. Recent cards, you know, it's going to be in the meta curve. This guy looks class. He is high low, so he's very much going to be your attacking fullback. You'll make that clear straight away. But he's four star, five star, and they say this is the same work as his Davies, I believe. So people love using Davies. There shouldn't be any difference here. Um, nice pace split. The pace at 90 is obviously a little bit question mark, but he's five seven with a nice pace split, which is good. Um, his passing is incredible for a fullback. Dribbling, incredible. Defending, really well rounded. Obviously, heading actually is 5 7, can't do that. He can actually shoot as well. And then 92 stamina. You put an anchor in this card, get some of the 95 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, boost up the strength and aggression. And you've got a great player. He's got outside of the foot shot too. Um, you're going to play him as a fullback. I'll, I'll, I'll touch on some of the alternative things you can do when you see the, the full team. Uh, you can change this team around a little bit and give you quite a lot of different formation options depending on what you want to play with. Now, I'm going to go on with our main defensive midfielder first. And we're going to be using Conrad Lamer. Again, the foot birthday I was talking about. Medium high, which is the ideal work with. It's 5'11". This guy's gold was actually great. And the same thing applied last year. He was a really good card. But I think the links really just put him under the radar. Three-star weak foot. is in great. Five-star skill. He's very similar to that threat card the foot birthday from the Serie A that we've talked about before uh, but you know faster skill moves will make him nice in the ball he's 5'11 with good agility and balance versus DM um, his passing 84 vision 91 short pass 86 long pass for DM is good pace is obviously fantastic aggression and stamina both right up there um, really this card then depends if you want to put an anchor on him to get the I think it's a plus 10 on the strength or you can put a shadow on him to make him absolutely rapid but so I think I may have forgot to say Guerrero is um, 34,000 coins in the market. I did forget to say that. He's 34k in the market. And then Lemur is coming in at 29,000 coins in the market. So two really good value for money cards. I think he makes you a fantastic DM. Now, we're going to be pairing him with the only SBC player that's in this team. And it's the Caliguri. I think that's how you pronounce it. He is a right midfielder and his SBC does expire. This is going up on Thursday. I think his SBC expires on the Friday. Um, I'll just double check that for you now. So it's currently the 24th. It expires on the 26th. Sorry, so you've got until the saturday to complete this sbc saturday at 6 p.m he expires he's 53,000 coins it's an 84 rate squad in the inform he's fantastic though um i have played seven games with him uh in swaps both of those like a right mid and a center mid in this system we're starting him as a center mid but as i say at the end of the video we can discuss all the different options you have he's just an incredible card for 50k um obviously the links and the club italian there are links but italian bundles like players aren't really far and few between uh so hard to strong link augsburg not many players so that regard he's cheap for the links medium high though which is the perfect work rates for a dm or a wing back or a fullback uh we found recently that the medium high actually works really well the likes of insanity and darmian have those it's great four star four star which is ideal and right footed pace 90 nice to work with you can push that if you want shooting for a wide man or someone you can play in the middle great passing is just insane um the long pass is a little bit lower uh but obviously really good crossing and really good free kick actually with the curve his balance is just or sorry his dribbling as a whole is really well around it 94 stamina and then also good defending uh has the dives in the tackle trait as well and the long shot so he, he, he'll score some bangers for you um with the e6 long shots and the trait and diving in the tackles he's a unit even if you 
aren't going to build this team even if you don't have a Bundesliga team I would highly recommend completing this SPC to use him as a super sub or possibly you might be able to strong link him down the line with more Italian players um, I think he's a fantastic option and you'll really regret doing the SPC if you're sorry you really regret not doing the SPC go look at the cam now before we touch on the wider players I don't have this guy in the club so I am gonna to have to go and search for him and again another for birthday maybe you know where I'm going with this it's gonna be Kamada I think he's got a really interesting card. He is medium medium work rates, which is the only sort of question mark I have on him. But medium medium, five star skills, four star work fit. Really nice for a central player. It gives him a lot of creativity options on the four star work fit is fine. Uh, also on the right, he's right footed. Um, nice E5 pace, but he's got the nice acceleration with being six foot, he's a little bit taller, but nice agility and balance uh, with the 89 acceleration. He'll feel uh, a bit quicker. I would recommend boosting this. Attack position is already really good though, so that's nice to work with. Vision at 91 with the short pass and long pass, both at 87 and 88, really, really clean. Um, his shooting, I'd say, does need to work, although he's got the attack positioning. Uh, and then his dribbling, the reaction to 85 is probably the lowest you'd want them right now. And 87 stamina is good. Looking at this card, obviously, you don't really need to push the attack position, so I wouldn't worry too much about that but you could put the likes of a hawk on him which maxes out the positioning gets a plus five in the finishing gets his long shots up to 93 gets the um short power at 89 and he gets acceleration to 94 sprint to the 87 and boosts the strength and aggression a little bit if you purely want the pace on and put a hunter on him i feel something like hawk uh, would work really really well for this card uh, as i say uh, his price on the market he's twenty three thousand coins it's another cheap beast and it's one of the themes in this team is these foot birthday cards in bundesliga's are just so cheap now our first wide man is someone that's five star five star and absolutely loved um you probably know who where i'm going with this it's silas this guy has been a fan favorite since last uh, last year he got a plus 14 for, for birthday five star five star high medium is incredible he has flare and speed dribble which are good but no other traits really to speak of obviously the acceleration is a big one his finishing and attack position are already maxed out his long pass is what lets him down um as a, as a wide man his dribbling outside of composure is good the balance is maybe a little bit heavy uh, and then his physicals are just decent across the board he can also defend though so use him as a wide man that has to track back is good i feel like you're going to want something that probably boosts the shooting and maybe the dribbling a little bit maybe something like a marksman uh if we have a look at what that will give him uh in a second here i think if you put a marksman on him it gets the finishing maxed out gets the shot power up by five a plus 10 in the long shots and increases the reactions a little bit you could then use him as a striker uh rather than a wide man if you needed to gives you plenty of options he's it's the nation and the club links obviously that reduce the price of this card um but i think obviously you're going full bundesliga that doesn't matter too much he slots in really really nicely our left mid is going to be playing off chemistry it's going to be in kunku he has plenty of cards to go with he's had two player of the month cards so maybe if you have one of those uh if you put the new one you can use him uh the thing here is he's going to be off camera guard so he's you can use his right mid version uh, a left mid on seven cam or you can use his uh you can convert one of his central ones to center mid play on a left mid he'll be seven chemistry as well i'm going with the ucl version here uh which is the just the team of the group stage uh it's a really nice card he's thirty-five thousand coins i believe just double checking that for you sorry he's one of the 40 cases upon this video four star three star medium medium if you Plenty of people, plenty of people using Kunku this year. They will all buy him. Finesse shot on outside of the foot shot straight, which is good though. It helps with that weak foot. His pace is really nice in this card. He does need the shooting boost, but you can alternatively with the medium, medium and his defending rates. Uh, stats being so high, you can use this guy as a box to box if you want the two. 92 agility and 90 balance. He's going to feel so clean with that ball control and dribble both at 93. Passing is really sweet, 89, 91, and 88 in the key stats. He can shoot, 85 stamina. Real nice card. So he's he's going to be the second person that plays off chemistry. If he was a right mid here, he would get 7 cam, just to make that clear for you guys. Him and Caliguri are the two guys that are going to be off chemistry in this team. But then having these, get, this is a game where you get a bit of creativity because Nkunku and Caliguri can both play multiple positions on the pitch for you. Um, so it can fit into many different formations. Then lastly, we're going to be spending 33,000 coins on our striker. I have him in the club right now for doing icon swaps is Bibu. Oh, this guy had a great card last year. Um, he was a real cheap beast. Four star skill moves, five star weak foot is a boost for, for, for birthday. Um, the agility and balance, the balance is like a little bit lower, but we're going to pop him into the team. You'll see, I've used a marksman on him to try and uh, actually not to help with this. If you put the finisher on him, he'll get a balance boost, but I wanted to get the reaction and the dribble and maxed out. He's 46 aggression can let him down a little bit sometimes, I'll be honest, but he's rapid and he can score. And that's the main thing you're after in a striker, plus the five star weak foot, he can finish on either side. 82 composure, again, a little bit lower, uh, but I say with a 400k budget team, I think this is coming out looking very, very nice. So uh, 
that's how I'd set it up in game as they uh, I'll go on to footbin now in a second just to show you guys the different alternatives you can do uh, in regards to getting the chemistry set up uh, and then we'll come back onto the game and show you the formations I consider using in game so you can see here when you convert in Kunku you'll get six chemistry when you add loyalty onto all the players uh, so that is with loyalty you get six uh, you can boost these two up to sevens so all you really need is pick any manager you want I'll put Pep Guardiola in and we want to give him the Bundesliga uh, all you need is a Bundesliga manager, anyone does it, you can get them. The entire team is on 10 chemistry except for Caliguri and Nkunku and Kunku who are both on 7. But you have then lots of flexibility with this team. As you see, these are the prices of refresh and I 391k. This um I, this is obviously the price I work from because I'm on Xbox. Uh, work from this, you got 10k to get uh, the position change from Kunku and that's really all you need. Uh, I was also using the 4412. Um, so this is how they line up as uh, so you don't have to position change command it either real nice team I'll back, hop on to the game now and we'll talk through some of the different formations you can possibly use also just really quickly to highlight if you've hit a stage where this Caliguri SPC isn't available anymore and you're like oh well there's not many other options you can spend 44,000 coins and pick up the inform Goretzka card um, I say he's not going to be as good as Caliguri he's a three star four star but he is good in game um, so that's the alternative really if you're still looking for something in that regard if you're like okay well shit what am i going to do now he's not available anymore i didn't complete him uh this is another option you can use you pop him into the team uh, and just to showcase all you do is change this around boom there you go great school get full chemistry i prefer the caliguri there if you can obviously if you somehow have the uh, honorable mentions goretzka that card's even better again so you can consider putting him in um one thing i would also consider if you guys wanted to you could do this you could use Caliguri at right back rather than Mbabu, and then you could get the Goretzka or the Honorable Mentions Goretzka in there, but that's a bit of an alternative, but we'll take it back to how you this actual 400k squad lines up, but just give you guys a little bit of insight of potential changes and upgrades in the team. Okay, so we're gonna kick it off with the generic 4-2-3-1. This is how you'd line it up in game. Uh, I'd say it's a, it's a decent way to get some uh, some potential out of the squad here. Um, DMs being Caliguri and Neymar will be great. Um, Guerrero obviously in the high low. I'd be using him as your attacking fullback in this situation. Uh, and Babu probably as your stay back. And Kunku works as a great cam. Uh, Kamada may be a little bit slow for the outside, but obviously if you force um, Silas in that way, it could work really well. The four triple two is one that really appeals for me in, in this system as well. I would have uh, probably Guerrero going forward again with uh, Mbappe on stay back. You obviously got two great DMs to work with. Uh, with then Kamada and Nkunku being essentially more than wide, the pace isn't as big of a hindrance uh, and you should be able to work with it. And then you've got two absolutely rapid players up top. Uh, that uh, is work fantastic obviously you change this after use the 4411 as a starting formation and you set up custom tactics for these finally the last formation i'm going to give you an idea of would be playing a 5212 it's one of the best formations of the game right now my custom tactics for it will be linked down below if you want to see the full in-depth options there are two things you can do here you can really pick and choose whether you want Mbappe or Caliguri Caliguri has better work rates and better defending stats so would technically be a better center back than Mbappe but you're gonna have your wing backs going forward and Caliguri is still better in that regard and I think you'll get more worth there so really you're just using Mbappe as a PSC center back then you got the two proper guys beside him and then the rest of the team works out really nicely and Kunku is your box to box would be great Lamer is obviously a more defensive player two rapid players up top with a four star skill moves five star weak foot uh, or sorry is a five star skill moves four star weak foot option in the central positions Guerrero and uh, Calgary will get forward I say the full tank stat will be linked down below but if you did enjoy the video please leave a like right on it uh, just lets me know you're enjoying the content uh, helps out with the algorithms all that good stuff hit that subscribe button from you around here I'd say we're trying to push to a thousand subscribers all the help on that is greatly appreciated and that's me for today I'll see you in the next video guys it'll probably be an upload uh, tomorrow night covering the content that comes out and just sort of how the upgrades are working and that kind of thing but I'll see you in the next one thank you very much for watching and goodbye